Hello, my name's Chris. This is the Camille Corp. And today we are finally getting to the long promised, long awaited video review of the Noble Collections three dimensional chess set. Don't go away because we're going to jump into it right after this. So this retails for around $150. When I got this, it was actually available on Amazon. Apparently no longer the case. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, you might have to go direct to Noble if you do want to pick this up. But let's talk about what this thing looks like. Overall, this is solid. Uh, the base is metal. You do have the Star Trek, the Enterprise Delta, into it. My overall impressions is it's a little small. Uh, I don't have huge hands, but I don't have small hands either. And uh, But for me to get like underneath these trays and actually move the pieces correctly is a little challenging. So let's look kind of top down, right? Uh, these pieces here that hide underneath here, if you want to get under there, like I have to come in from the top and kind of like push it out and then pull it out the back and place the piece where I want to place it. It's not super easy if you have adult sized hands to uh, maneuver some of these pieces around the board. I have another complaint and I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can. But these removable pieces don't fit the greatest into the provided pegs. Uh, so if, as you can see, this is the only one that's really tight. Now I did make a little bit of a modification. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this if I take this off, but what I did was I cut a little piece of scotch tape and I wrapped it through that hole in there to kind of catch that piece a little bit. Uh, and while it did stabilize it quite a bit, it's still, to me, something that should have been done correctly out of the box. Okay, I've gotten the minor details that annoy me out of the way. So let's jump into what's great about this. This is, hands down, uh, a beautiful display piece. The metal is solidly put together. These acrylic stands are not going anywhere, aside from the little platforms here. The pieces, we're gonna come up here. I'm gonna say the pieces are nice. I mean, belt bottoms, they're substantial. They're heavy, they're good. There is a downside to the pieces, however. If you drop them, you can see that little scuff on the base there. They will chip. So there, there is that to consider, especially if you have small kids. Uh, my seven-year-old, when I got this, really wanted to play. He'd been playing traditional chess. I'd been teaching him the moves, and he's like, Dad, I want to play this one. And I said, okay, great. Through the course of several games, we did have a couple pieces fall on the floor, and so a few of these are now dinged up. Just the... the the coating or the lacquer just chips off. Um, so that is not something I'm excited about. There are kind of rules that uh, come with this. So it tells you the orientation of the board. It shows you, I mean, if I turn this a little bit, I can kind of explain this. So when you set up the board, uh, for example, this red square here is the same as this red square here. And this white square here equates to this white square here. So th this position on white on the middle board and this position on white on the bottom board are technically the same square, just in that third dimension. So that is, it, it's, it's kind of a layered effect. So your innermost rows on the bottom and on the top 
correspond to the rows on the middle level. So when you are, for example, this knight right here. Now we all know a knight will go in one direction two spaces and then either go left or right one space, right? Traditionally, I'm going to remove him from the board, that would mean one, two, and then he could go over. But since this red square is the same as this red square, at that point he can decide if he wants to stay on this level or if he wants to jump up to this level. For the most part, for the most part, all of the moves that you know from traditional chess do carry over to this game. Um, the the rules, uh, like I said, there there were not technically official rules probably until this reproduction. There might have been some with the Franklin Mint collection from the 90s. I don't know. I've never seen one of those sets. But the rules were essentially reverse engineered from the game board that was developed for the TV series. Fans looked at it and said, okay, well, how, how can we actually make this work? How can we make this function as a rule? And for many years, fans at home built their own sets, which is in itself really cool. Obviously, with the advent of something like 3D printing, uh, this is a lot easier to do now than it would have been back in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Uh, but you know they would they would make their own sets out of wood i saw several tutorials on youtube on i think one was how to make a set out of cardboard so the level of dedication and ingenuity by the fan base is astounding and it does not surprise me that from just looking at the board they reversed engineered a comprehensive set of rules that allows you to play this fully from beginning to end that is very cool, and that is a testament to the Star Trek fan base. Even with my misgivings about the size and about the instability of some of these uh, removable platforms, uh, this is a great piece. I mean, it is, it is fully functional. It looks gorgeous. If you just need something decorative for a living space or something like that, or you know, even if you sit down and you figure out the nuances of the tri-dimensional setup and you want to play games, you can have a running game. Um, it is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It is fun to play. The rules that exist make this functional as well as a decorative piece. So if you are in the market for a three-dimensional chess set, this is going to be significantly less expensive than the Franklin Mint collection from the 90s, especially since they don't produce that anymore, right? I've not seen that for less than $250 to $300 on the used market. This retails at $149.99. Uh, in my opinion, it's worth it. So what's next? Um, what's next is how do you play? And so part two of this video series is going to be me and my friend Chip actually playing through a game. Uh, talking through s what we're doing and how we're doing things as we're doing them. Uh, and I'm actually going to put Chip into this at a bit, at a bit of his disadvantage, right? Because he's not going to know anything about this going in. So we'll be, he'll be kind of discovering alongside all of you who are watching as well. So my take is this is a great piece. I would recommend this. However, my recommendation, and this is something I wish I had done, is if you get this thing and, you know, some of these are rickety and wobbly, I would, I would uh, contact Noble Collection and I would get a new one sent out to you. I thought I could deal with it. I wish I would have done that, but I was impatient. I got it and I wanted to play with it immediately and I didn't want to send it back. So impatience will do that. That's my own fault. I am just telling you not to make the same mistake. So in closing, I recommend this if you 
are in the market for a 3D chess set and this is within your budget, I recommend that you pick this one up. There it is. Uh, even though it's a little small, even though these sideboards are a little rickety, and even though the pieces have a tendency to chip. Um, I think the benefits do outweigh those three cons. So look for part two of this video, um, which is the playthrough, playing a game, uh, actually seeing the pieces in motion and how the pieces move, and we'll have some uh, some different camera angles and things set up so that you can see these things in real time. So. Thank you very much for checking this out. I do ask that you please hit the like button if this was helpful to you. Uh, likes do help me and this channel. Uh, likes will mean YouTube shows this video to new people and more people, and I would appreciate that. In addition, I recommend, through my own self-serving interests, that you click that subscribe button. And there is a bell, which is a notification, so if you click that, whenever Camille Corp, Corp posts something new, you'll get a notification saying, hey, there's a new video that you need to watch. Lastly, there's a comment section which I invite you to use. Ask me any questions. Give me any thoughts if you have this or you've had the Franklin Mint version. I would love to engage in that dialogue with you. I do appreciate your time. I know your time is valuable and I thank you for spending this time with me. And with that, I bid you adieu, and I look forward to seeing you for part two.